for the practicals to write the complete program on circular queue start with a comment at least one line of comment should be there include all the header files iostream.h conio.h stdlib.h for exit 0 because you are writing a menu driven program and one option is exit so for exit stdlib.h now you can define a class for circular queue in order to store the various elements you need an array the size of the array should not be given like this it's a bad programming style so you declare a constant variable and this variable name constant variable name you should use here now to store the index of the first element f to store the index of the last element r index it is integer so int f comma r in the public area in order to initialize f and r with a minus one you need a zero argument constructor in order to insert an element you need a member function the element that you want to insert is passed as an argument to delete an element you need a function display and count now the first one defining the zero argument constructor outside the class constructor no return type even void followed by class name followed by scope resolution operator followed by name of the constructor followed by signature it's a zero argument constructor so no signature opening and closing curly bracket now the zero argument constructor initializes f and r with a minus one now defining this outside the class this is the syntax and the code for insert you can write like this now if there is a doubt in this code you can refer the second tutorial video on circular queue now let me define this member function outside the class this is the format and the code can be written like this now if there is a doubt in this code you can refer the third tutorial video on circular queue now I need to define this outside the class so it can be defined like this and the code may be written like this now if there is a doubt in this code you can refer the fourth tutorial video on circular queue and finally I need to define the count function outside the class uh, this is a syntax and the code may be written like this again if there is a doubt in this code you can refer the fifth tutorial video on circular queue now it's a menu driven program so in order to display the menu you need a function now you can write the main function whenever you write a menu driven program the infinite for loop is there because only when you enter option number 5 5 is for exit you should exit from the program so whenever you write a menu driven program the infinite for loop is there the first line of infinite for loop clear screen the last line get ch first the menu should be displayed then read your choice the choice variable should be declared now switch choice case 1 meaning you need to insert an element so the element that you want to insert first of all that should be entered from the keyboard and in order to insert the element you can call the member function insert remember this is a member function so it can be called only using an object of the class example ob1.insert and the element that you want to insert is passed as an argument so ob1 should be declared you can declare it as class name followed by object name cq ob1 the last statement of each and every case must be break <coughs> case 2 to delete an element from circular queue so it is ob1.del last statement is break case 3 display the elements of a circular queue so ob1.show the last statement is break case 4 count the number of elements of a circular queue so ob1.count and break now case 5 exit from the program so exit 0 now there is a default case wrong choice so this is how you write the main function.